Good morning. It's a bit of a bit of a weird morning this morning. I've got roughly maybe 50 meters of visibility at the moment. I'm just going around the ewes that are lambing and then I've got to go check everything today. We got about 17 mil of rain yesterday. Um, would be nice to get some more so the heads fill in on the crops. I'll show a bit of that later. Heading around, it doesn't look like there's much activity in this paddock at the moment. I kind of, I follow the um, trails. These sheep trails happen because they all walk in lines. Normally they're gonna lead from water to pasture. I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera, hang on. Can you see it? Maybe, maybe not. Um, but if normally if you drive along the trails, you'll find the sheep. They'll be somewhere along it. Looks all good. There's a newborn down there. They haven't quite woken up yet by the looks of it. A lot of them are still in their sleeping spot. Oh, this is the paddock where people said, do these sheep not have any shade? There's also a whole creek down there. There is a ewe over there who's just given birth. I am gonna take a wide berth around her. Um, try to stay away we don't want her running off on our lamb it's very important that when a ewe has birth if everything's fine and everything's good you get away because you know every moment you spend there it's more likely she's going to get up and leave we're out in one of the crossbred paddocks looking good looking good these are fat lambs here and uh, that one looks a bit hollow that one looks good they do seem to be hungry, so we'll need to add, probably add them to the feeding list. We're in the next paddock now, um, just cruising around these lambs. They do have a fair bit of feed. They are looking okay. By the look of some of these ewes, I think they've already started to wean their lambs off of them. They do that by when the lamb comes up to drink, they just walk off and then they keep doing it until the lamb stops trying. That's pretty standard. The majority of the mums will do it when the lambs get to a certain age. Because when lambs drink, especially when they get bigger, it's, it's like an attack on the titty. They're very brutal. I've seen lamb, two like twins, come up and drink off mum and their mum literally goes backwards because they're because of the force of the lambs they're very over the top so this is one of our barley crops as you can see there's oats in it i was talking about the heads needing to this is the head of the um barley stalk so each stalk has a head now the heads depending on how good a year you're having they might be longer they might be shorter these heads are pretty good um size comparison to my hand that's a really good one there each one of these little spots here they are a barley grain so that is your beer maltesers um milo that's this whoops that's all of these here but at the moment they're not very firm which means they haven't filled yet so with this water the water is going to hopefully fill these heads and make them nice and heavy and give them a lot of um, protein which makes them heavy which means we get more and you do need to reach a certain level of heaviness to be able to tear grain we'll get to that later in the year basics of how it works i'm getting back into the car because it's cold let me know if you want to learn more about it i will admit i do not know a whole heap because i'm allergic to it <laughs> but if that's something you're interested in i can tell you more and get someone else to tell and get Liam to get Liam to talk about it more. While I'm out here, I wanted to show you this plant here. Now this is white weed. No, it's good. This is a weed that grows a lot in um, our cereal and bean crops. It is a broadleaf, so in the beans you can't really spray it. You can't really spray it out unless you spot spray. And when you're spraying a couple hundred acres, you can't do it. This one here is a nicer looking barley crop. This has a lot of very, very long stems. Um, for perspective. Beans and some weeds. Um, this is what the beans are looking like now. The flowers are starting to die, which means pods are coming. Um, here are the flower, top of the flowers. The bottom flowers on the plant are starting to die, however there are the little bean pods here um oh there's some chunky boys look at them 
They look fantastic. Oh, look at those ones. They look great. Size comparison. Here's some more. Not sure if you're look, sick of looking at plants yet, but we have two more crops to show you. Late oats. In here, these are the oats that weren't germinating. They have started now. We do have a collection of cockatoos eating them, which isn't good, but what can you do? Um, they're just up there this morning. If you get a good crop, which this is shit, over here is oak, ugh, shit, but better than back there. If you get a good one and you got this, that doesn't look too bad. That's what oats look like when they're little. It looks like grass because it's a grass crop. Okay, so this is the last crop I'm going to show you today. I'm sure you're sick of it and you've already skipped. But if you haven't, let me know in the comments. Our production is also 30% crop, so I'll show you this as well. This is wheat. Looks great for the most part. Um, here are the wheat heads. Similar situation to the barley. We need water to fill the heads um, they are starting to look pretty good. Size comparison, pretty good, pretty good, looking good. There are some longer than others. The heads are still haven't quite filled, but they are look. They do look like they are starting to. More ewes and lambs, all looking good. These are going to be crutched next month. Whoops. As I was saying, ewes and lambs, they're going to be crutched next month. This paddock doesn't seem too bad. I have been giving them grain, which has caused a couple of scours. But apart from that, we're right. We haven't had any signs of flies yet. So it's not a massive concern currently. I won't go too much into it now. All I'll say is fly lays eggs in the sheep's wool. The eggs hatch. The maggots then begin to eat the sheep. In here, we've got a lot of weeds. Look past them. <laughs> Um, but these are the last prime lines to lamb. They need to be crutched. They, we've got a lot of crutching coming. The grass is starting to go to seed by the looks of it, which is great. Well, yeah, it's, it's good, which is okay. It means that we don't have long left now. Um, it'll die and then we've got to start feeding hay. Love it. Um, any comments, Slug? Just snot on the window. Thank you. We're going around the sheep. We're at the merinos now. They're looking good. All their lambs were marked last week, I'm pretty sure. There doesn't seem to be any problem. They've got lots of feed. I'll show you a trick. Not that many of you guys are farmers, but if you've got stock, if you go like this with your fingers, it's raining, ignore it. <laughs> And you go like this and you pick the ground. You go like this and then you pick the ground. That's how much food they're going to get per mouthful. So if you start getting down to like stuff like this and your whole paddock looks like this, you're going to need to start feeding your sheep. I just need to pick up the mineral troughs and put them in the car. However, it has started raining. So come and get wet with me. Oh, I'd flip it over. I didn't even think of snakes. I suppose it is raining, so you're pretty, we're pretty safe, but shit, that wouldn't have been good. Oh! Leave. Leave. Goodbye. Oh, he's still alive. Oh, well. Enjoy your life, dude. Sorry I waterboarded you. People seem to like you more than me. She's like, of course, why wouldn't they? Are you a bit cold, Typo? <laughs> These merinos are all looking fantastic. As I, as I addressed in another video saying about how, you know, most of our sheep are fine. Look, they're fine. It's just not interesting me zooming in on merinos. They're probably the most boring creatures on earth. There you go, thrilling merino content. This is the nipple bucket, the bucket of thy nips that we use to feed the lambs. We have the big ones over there. 
eating grass for the day. And then the littler ones that aren't quite eating grass yet are in here. Got the bottle full because one of the bigger ones will not drink from the bucket. So bottle it is. It's a couple days later. I'm currently editing the video and for some reason the audio sounds like shit for when I'm explaining this situation here. These are all either twins or triplets. So that's why these guys are here. And what happened was some of the ewes have taken one and forgotten they've had a twin, weren't coming back for them. So we've picked them all up. Here they are. There's only, we got 10. We gave three to a carer who were sick. I think they were sick for other reasons. Um, I'd say that's probably why their mums left them. Dude, 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 too much. You are too much. That's pickles. Uh, so that's the last one. I'll pull the bucket out. Put it down. Open the shed. We've been giving them a bit of feed to supplement because they're not real. They're not really eating grass yet. But they've been given loosened some oats, some corn, and some crushed beans, which helps you grow, doesn't it? Big ones. Big ones are a bit more aggressive. You're about to see why the mums wean them. <laughs> These are only little big ones, not big, big ones. And then they all attack. He really wants to be on the same nipple as the other one. Everyone onto one side, we need all consolidate onto the nips that are available with milky still. No, you don't need any more. This is their mix. They have more loosen in theirs and then less grain. I think they, at this stage, they prefer the loosen more to the grain, but they won't in two months. <laughs> the rain is still coming down. Great news for the crops. Not so good for you because we're not really doing anything trucks out because it needs to be washed. We took the rest of the dry ewes to market. So now we've only got to do the old one. At the end of the year when the lambs are weaned, see what else we can do today. So now because it's like this and it's just raining, we are cleaning up our previous messes that we will said, we've said we'll clean up later because now is later. Sorry there wasn't an awful lot of stuff in this video, but I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Like or slug will put dusty ass crusties on you.